How's it going, everybody? My name is Jason. I'll be your host on this CFL talk show, Hussies Huddle. In this video, we'll be talking about six CFL free agents that are still unsigned that can make a difference this coming season. But really quickly, before we get started, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is by hitting that like button or subscribing to Hussies Huddle for more CFL content just like this. I really appreciate all the support lately, guys. Once again, and with that said, let's get started with this video. So a few qualifiers before we get into it. Number one, I'm not going to talk about extremely obvious selections like linebacker Hanok Mwamba or offensive lineman Matt O'Donnell. Those are obviously the two best remaining free agents right now. And I think they're just unique situations as to why they haven't been signed yet. So that is just a discussion for another video. And number two, all of these selections have to have some level of CFL experience. So I'm not talking about any potential future CFLers like, say, Josh Gordon. I don't know, just throwing it out there. And with that said, kicking off our list with a guy I haven't always been the biggest fan of, and that's quarterback McLeod Bethel Thompson. Despite my criticisms of empty stats, Bethel Thompson has absolutely proved that he can play at the CFL level. I think he stays a free agent for a while and waits for a team to suffer a quarterback injury. This would give him, in my opinion, the most potential leverage. Ultimately, McLeod Bethel Thompson, if he ends up in the right situation, say if Mike Riley gets injured or Bo Levi Mitchell gets injured in Calgary, say one of those things happens, a team needs an immediate starter with CFL experience. McLeod Bethel Thompson is the best available option on the market, and I don't think anybody can really deny that right now. At number two on this list, I'm going with a guy that I felt has been dealt a raw deal with injuries over his young career, and that's offensive lineman Tyler Johnstone. Montreal once spent first round selection on Johnstone back in 2018, with the former Oregon Duck possessing the mobility and length to play the tackle position. Unfortunately, he only started five games for the Owls, and the team appears ready to move on after signing Jason Lazon Sagan in free agency. The right tackle has suffered several devastating injuries and hasn't looked great in terms of his pass blocking in limited action, but has tremendous potential as the rare Canadian talent that can be a starter at tackle. CFL teams are handing out one-year contracts anyway, so why not roll the dice on a guy like John Stone, who is a low-risk, high-reward type of proposition? I think BC is a team that makes a lot of sense for John Stone. My selection at number three is John Stone's former teammate, Taylor Loeffler. If not for injuries, Loeffler might just be the best safety in the CFL right now. But unfortunately, injuries, especially ones to his knee, have derailed what could have been a Hall of Fame career trajectory. Loeffler made the All-Star team in each of his first three seasons while playing for Winnipeg, becoming one of the handful of players in league history to accomplish that feat. Loeffler was well on his way to a fourth in 2019 with Montreal, but a torn ACL, the same injury he had suffered in college, ended his season. As a classified Canadian in the CFL, a healthy Loeffler offers even more value to teams. If I'm a GM of a team and I can convince him to come aboard cheaply, I'd be thrilled with that gamble. I think Edmonton makes a ton of sense here, both for the player and the team. Next at number four, we have kicker Justin Medlock. Medlock, in my opinion, is the one guy on this list who I think upgrades every single team in the CFL. He's just been so good for so long in this league, both as a place kicker and as a punter. The former UCLA Bruin has converted 86.5% of his 436 attempted field goals all while sporting a 44.8 yard punting average. There's multiple reports that Medlock is considering retirement, which honestly would not shock me. If he does play, I think the Tiger Cats are honestly a perfect match because they have a need there and they're a team that's really gonna be in the contending conversation come next season. Second to last on today's list, we have defensive end Craig Rowe. Rowe was actually a 2020 free agent signing of the Toronto Argos, but never played a game for the team before becoming a free agent again this offseason. The pass rusher was effectively booted to the curb after the team signed CFL veterans Charleston Hughes and Cordero Law this offseason. While rarely an every down defensive end, 
Rowe is an extremely talented rotational pass rusher, as he showed on in a consistent basis in 2019 with Winnipeg. For that reason, I think Rowe going back to that role with the Bombers is more than possible. Though I wouldn't be totally shocked if a team like the Riders scoops him up either. And finally at number 6 we have defensive end John Bowman. Another guy who may very well retire, but it's well worth talking about him given his career and legacy. Bowman will turn 39 this July and will not be coming back to Montreal after spending 14 freaking seasons with the team while putting up 133 career sacks. The last time we saw Bowman on the field in 2019, he still produced 8 sacks, which led the team. I don't think he's a player at this point you can rely on as an every down CFL defensive end, but he would be perfect on a team that would use him in a designated pass rush role. I think Calgary would be a great fit as a team with a winning pedigree with a need for a pass rush boost. That is, if Bowman decides to give it another shot. So that is gonna be the end of today's video. I'd like to thank you everyone for watching. Once again, my name is Jason. If you wanna support the channel, the best way to do it is by hitting that like button or subscribing to Us East Huddle for more CFL content just like this. Thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.